So I have this blender. I've had it for about a year now. It's a Proctor, what is that? Silex, I can't read. My eyes are bad. It can't even cut a lemon. So it's time for this. And this is what the chunks still look like in here. I don't know if you can see that. It's too dark. The big old lemon wedge in there still yet. That's all right. We got us a new blender. All right, so we've been trying to um, grind this lemon for about six minutes. Literally six minutes. It's finally ground, but six minutes? Come on. That's way too long just to grind a lemon. So we went to Walmart, and guess what we got? That's right. Hamilton Beach Smoothie Blender. No more ice chunks. Hopefully it won't take six minutes to blend anything. Ideal for smoothies, shakes, and drinks. One piece jar. Dishwasher safe. No assembly required. 56 ounces. Stainless steel. Look here. We're going to open this up. 10 speeds. Let's open this up and see how it does. Zing. how it works. Alright, so we have it rinsed out. This thing has to go. We are done with it. I'm going to put some ice in here. I'm not sure that base is on. I guess it is. Y'all already know I don't read directions. Let's see how this blends. Now with this one over here that I just pushed out of the way, it wasn't cutting no ice anymore. So let's see what this does. twenty dollars on a blender. Maybe I need to read the instructions on how to blend. This is already better than that other one that wasn't working. I couldn't have got this blended with that other one. I was thinking maybe just crush some ice and put some uh, to make like a snow cone, but let's add a little water. Because you know they say you're supposed to have water in them. I do know that. You're supposed to have some water in them. So let's see if this does. I'm just going to have to have some actual smoothies instead of just ice. Uh -huh. Look at there. Add some ice. Now we got some good ice water. All right. All right. Only time will tell if I'm happy with this. I guess I'll have to make a good smoothie and post it on here to let y'all know. But for now, we have a Hamilton Beach. The other one has to go, and I'm already happier. That's my review. Now I'm going to use it a while. Okay, so I'm back, and I decided to try this ice thing again. Um, I did go back and read directions. It doesn't say anything about ice. It says do not try to mash potatoes, mix stiff dough, whip egg whites, grind raw meat, extract juices from fruits and vegetables. Do not blend dry ingredients such as grains and coffee beans. The blender is not made for these tasks. And of course it does say use like a cup of uh, water if things aren't blending well but 
if I want to blend ice, I don't want to add water. So I'm going to put in less ice this time. We're going to put it on low setting. And then let's see what happens. Okay, so I guess we are going to have to take it out and shake it, shake the big chunks into the blades. So I guess, whoop, I guess the point is just to keep reshaking it until the, the big chunks are done maybe let me let me hit the ice crush and quit letting off of it that won't work so I have to keep just going on and off but I don't know if you can really see I still have the big ice chunks and my box specifically says no more ice chunks so I mean, maybe I'm starting with, with my ice cubes too big, which is just a standard ice thing. I don't know. I don't know what I wanted. Maybe instead of buying a $30 machine, I should have bought a $50, $60 machine that I could do more with. But um, I'm going to see if I have any fruits or anything in my fridge and do some more experimenting. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I didn't have fresh fruit, but I have the, the frozen assortment of fruit. And um, I have some apple juice. So I guess I'm gonna try to take the um, frozen fruit, add to the ice you already saw me crush up here. I'm gonna add a little bit of juice to make it blend better, hopefully. And see how that mixes up with my new blender. Um, bear with me here. My son was helping me earlier and he's already went home for the day. So let me get all this put in here and we'll see how it mixes. add too much because it won't blend well but it says add about a cup of juice for things to mix better and let's see um, what setting do I want to use um, maybe an icy drink I think it didn't even have a paper in here to tell me um, the different what the different um, things do and I guess that's something maybe you should know from experience but um, that would have been handy to tell me the different way that they mix but let's I'm gonna try this icy drink not to mix for more than three minutes which I haven't that actually looks pretty good I'm just gonna put a spoon in here which you know you don't do if um, it's on Let's see if everything is broken up got a few clumps but that's okay that's not too bad out of all that I put in there and I'm gonna taste this how this tastes. It is really good. Mm. I like that. I'm going to hit the smoothie thing. See. like 
that setting a little bit more. I think that ground it up a little bit more. Um, but it does have the high, um, the great and the ice crush, milkshake, smoothie, icy drink, chop, grind, puree, whip, and stir. Let me see what the stir does. So, overall, I'm not mad. I'm not sure it's a ice crusher no more. Ice chunks, I guess, yes, as far as that for the smoothie shakes and icy drinks. Sometimes we just like to crush some ice up and, and throw some syrup over it for some, like, snow cone kind of drinks. But I guess I'm going to have to get a... Um, more expensive high powered blender for that but as far as for a smoothie blender this probably does exactly what it says I'm not mad and then you just pour it right in the glass whoops we're a little bit of mess there we'll clean that up later That is very good. Okay. Hamilton Beach Blender. 10 speeds. It does crush the ice up when you have the, the liquid and you're making a smoothie and etc. so on. I'm not displeased with that. I would recommend this, but I do not recommend it. If you think that you're going to um, buy one of these and you're going to be making like a snow cone or something no but it is what it says it is and um it does work better than what my blender that i used before hopefully this does say a three-year limited warranty my other one only had for like a year hopefully this will last more than just a year but for thirty dollars if it doesn't i can't complain hope you guys like my review Go ahead and let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll be back to do another review with you, hopefully, before too long. Happy drinks, guys.